and at the end of the day, safety's, safety's first in it. So, um, no, nah, it was the right decision. Would have been nice. I got a nice new TT bike from Pinarello for this, so it would have been nice to show it off. But uh, I'll do that in the next TT. And the strategically, how did you play it? I mean, 12 kilometres, 14 kilometres, sorry. Kind of similar to a 10-mile time trial, I guess. So were you like playing it a bit like a 10 there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same sort of time. So, um, yeah, it ended up just being, it ended up being pretty full, you know, with the... Uh, a climb in the first half and then the headwind in the second half so um yeah it ended up being pretty full gas all the way okay thanks thanks mate. josh um why are you riding uh, chose for riding o gran camino uh, because uae2 was also a possibility with a nice time trial for you yeah yeah i think um i did uae last year and i think um this year yeah, it'd be nice to do something new um Obviously, it would have been nice to go to UAE as well, especially with the weather. Um, but uh, I don't get to race in Spain that often, and uh, I live in Andorra, so it's not too far. Um, yeah, and it, it was nice. Yeah. Um, what are the further goals for you, the main goals for this season? Olympics is the main goal, um, and the classics after this. So, But to be honest, every race, because um, I'm so young, is about learning and progressing. So um, I'll take every race as it comes. Yeah. Which classics are you going to ride? At the minute, I think it's uh, all the cobble classics, apart from opening weekend, because I'm in Paris. Nice. So um, yeah, E3, Wavelgun, Wagon, Flanders, Roubaix. Yeah. Um, we are now in a in a stage race, so a, a small week stage race. Um, is that also something you would like to try once, um, maybe this season or another season? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think um, some of the some of the stage races in Belgium, like Wallonie and Renewy, like last year, suit me quite well, and. Um, yeah, they're good fun, you know, so maybe in the future I'd like to go for them. Yeah. Um, you s talked about uh, Paris Olympics. Do you think you have an advantage over guys like Even de Poel, uh, Wout van Aert, Ghana, because they have other goals as well in that period of the, in the summer? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure. I mean, uh, yeah, I think I'll uh, I'll be able to fully focus on, on this. I mean, I have races before this, um, but I think, yeah, they'll have their own goals. But to be honest, I think... You never have an advantage on people like Remco and Wout and uh, Ghana because they're so talented, you know, so yeah. it'll be tricky either way. <laughs> Thank you. Did you have any problems out there at all? Was it the wind at all? The gusts? Was it all okay? A couple of the roundabouts. My front wheel got caught with the wind. Um, I was running a 60 mil uh, front wheel, so that catches the wind pretty pretty hard. Um, and other than that, it went pretty smooth. And just one thing about the lead of the race. I mean, like you're leading the race, but you're all tied on time. Must be a bit of a weird feeling that, no? <laughs> like, you know, your leader's jersey, your leader's jersey, all the same. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this race will be one in the mountains anyway. So, um, no, it's still, uh, still nice to wear the jersey for the day. And, yeah, I'll be, you know. And you were the first guy to beat Vingar here. How does it uh, yeah. feel? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think he's saving it for the mountains, you know, but uh, I'll take it. I'll take it.